but you also know that gif can also even be harmful for some audiences hello everybody i'm pragya or welcome back to my channel this is the third video of the series accessible social media in which we talk about how can we make sure that we are accessible and inclusive on social media with both our posts as well as messages i'm bringing to you this series in collaboration with saksham trust under their campaign leveraging social media accessibility for all that is supported by meta in this video we'll talk about gifs now gifs are a way of communication that so many of us have come to love and we generally use them while texting as a substitute of memes these are 3 to 5 second videos which have a repetition in themselves often they have a text written uh, and uh, they don't have audios now uh, for obvious reasons gif is not accessible to all of the audiences it is not accessible for somebody with blindness or somebody who's on the blindness spectrum but do you also know that gif can also even be harmful for some audiences uh, it's very important to choose the correct right kind of gif so that they cannot harm the audience that you are trying to reach out to Now for this there are only three things that you have to keep in mind. One, when the gifs have rapid flashing lights or blinking lights, it can make it difficult for somebody with cognitive or learning disability to be able to read the text on the gif. Second, these flashing and blinking lights can even cause seizures in some cases. But how do we make sure that uh, the content we are sharing does not affect somebody in that harmful way? That that is why we have the third step. is uh, we don't need to eliminate flashing from our gifs completely what we need to make sure is if your gif has flashing lights the repetition of those flashes should be less than 3 times in a second and they should not uh, be repeated for more than 5 seconds in a row so feel free to use gifs that has blinking or flashing lights but make sure that the frequency in which the flash is appearing is low I'm sure that you're wondering that gifs are still not accessible to all and we often use video and image based posts on social media which might not be accessible to a lot of the audience specifically people with blindness so how do we cater to that we will be covering these topics on how can we make sure that our images and videos are accessible in the videos that are to come in this series This video marks the end of the segment which talks about text based posts as well as messaging. I really hope that you will adopt these uh, practices in your daily life and use social media a little more consciously. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you the next time. Bye.